How's it going everybody? In certain Cirque, SG back again with another Dragonborn video. Okay, so right in front of us we have the three trial decks, Shadow Legion, Alpha Dominance and Mystical Hunters uh, from Dragonborn. Although uh, I am doing this video a little bit late because they actually came out yesterday, it is actually currently Saturday that I am recording this and they might not be in order but there's a reason for that. Anyway, um, yeah, we have the three trial decks in front of us. This is TD1, TD2, and TD3. Um, yeah, we'll be doing an opening on all three, but for this video, we'll be doing Shadow Legion. So, Shadow Legion, right, it actually features three of the sort of clans, or rather, um, I don't know what they're actually called, but it's actually featuring Nilfine, which is the black color one. Uh, I think uh, Taurus, which is the fire one, and uh, the red one, sorry and Logress which is the yellow one. So this is clearly like a very Nilfheim based deck because the boss card of the deck is actually a Nilfheim card. Uh, 6 cost Lady Balistra, Bloodlines Tormented. So yeah, the name is over here. And I actually did a small sort of like introduction to Dragonborn quite some time ago, maybe about um, 3 months ago maybe. And I'll leave a link to that video in the description below, so do check it out. And yes, I got all 3 trial decks from Rowell, so I'll leave a I'll leave your address in the description below so you can go check them out as well. And thank you Rowell for providing these for me. So this is of course by Bushiroad. It's Dragonborn and it's a brand new game by Bushiroad and DBTD01. So nothing much going on with the box. Of course you get like the picture of one of the monsters in there, Shadow Legion. And you get a nice little like um, trial deck, deck list thing. And each trial deck will come with one promo card and there is a chance that you'll pull uh, foil from the promo. So, uh, what is Dragonborn Rise to Supremacy? Dragonborn aims to engage players with strategic gameplay that marries a traditional trading card game with the use of dice within the game's mechanics. Players assume the role of a Dragonborn vying for supremacy against other Dragonborn, each with their own agendas and ideals. So, this is an aggressive deck of course and um, I would say this is kind of interesting but not really one of the fan favorites so I gotta be careful with this my pen knife is a little bit old so with this cut properly okay so yep so when you open a, the child that right immediately this is a little bit different because usually it's in one full packet but this time it's separated so you get a rule book over here I won't go through everything because it will take up too much time instead I'll leave a link for the rule book in the description below by the official Dragonborn website and we have this, uh, sorry, by, by, um, anyway, yeah, I'll leave a link to the rule book, basically. And, uh, this is, like, the playmat thing. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired now because I actually spent the entire day trying to play the game. But, yeah, that's the playmat. So, I'll get to that later on. Maybe in another video. Who knows? But, yeah, so here we have the actual trial deck and it has, like, three dices for, to represent, like, the three, um, decks or oh, sorry the three clans rather i'll just say them as clans lah. but basically it's a six sided dice nothing much going on there so yep we had the actual deck right here in front of us now so we got this plastic thing which i really like and so to start things off we of course have lady balistra so you can read her skill it's a six cost creature vampire and uh, also, when this creature destroys a creature in battle, you may choose an opposing creature with the same color as that creature and destroy it. So what this means is basically if I use this card and I destroy a, a yellow card, right, I can choose another yellow card on my opponent's field and destroy it. So it works that way. And her Dragon Cross effect will enable you to uh, make this card uh, a must block by your opponent. So you get a free bomb there, which is actually surprisingly good for a trial deck card. So you get two copies, one foil and one non-foil. Then we have two copies of Bountiful Angel. Now this is a low grass card, so it's a three cost, three three card. Also at the end of the turn, if two or more of your other creatures attack during this turn, you may draw a card. So, oh sorry, it's a must draw actually. So you get two copies of those, one foil and one non foil. Next we have four copies, oops, sorry. We have four copies of Sunscale Sage, another low grass card. I think from here on, most of them are low grass already. So it's a three three four card, not bad, no skill, vanilla. Uh, pretty tanky actually for a 3 cost card but next we have 4 copies of what's this a uh, gold leaf hunter so it's a 2 cost 2 3 card not bad but can be better in my opinion 
Then we are moving on to some spells. We have four copies of Altain's Blessing, so none of them are foil sadly. We've been through this card in the previous video, so you can check it out. Again, the link is in the description below. So next we have two copies. Uh, moving on to uh Taurus cards, we have two copies of Ravian the Blood the sorry, the Battlefield Shrieker. So it's a three cost, three attack, and two endurance card. One of them is foil, the other is not. So this is the ambush of the deck. So ambush two and when a creature and this fort is destroyed during your opponent's turn, if this card is an ambush, you may summon this creature and deal 2 damage to all opposing monsters. So, this can really clear out some fields for you if you are... If, this is a very aggro card, like, basically. Then we get 2 copies of Goblin Madcap. It's a 1-1-1 one, one, one card with a shield destroying ability. Then we have 4 copies of um, Blade Dance Rogue. It's a 2-3-2 two, two card. Very offensive. I like it. Then we have two copies of Goblin Toe Stabber, so more goblins from Taurus. When this creature is summoned, you may choose a Drago Shield and deal one damage to it. And Drago Cross Black, this creature gets plus one plus one for both stats. So yeah, it's a one 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 card, pretty good. Then we have two copies of Pyroblast, so this is our another ambush for the deck. So ambush two once again. Also, when this fort is attacked, uh, if you this if this card is an ambush, you may choose a fort and deal X damage to all creatures at that fort, where X is the value of your red dice. So, yeah. Moving on to some, um, what's that, Nilfheim cards, we have two copies of Undying Executioner. So, this card is really special because it has a deadly ability, which is sort of like specifically special, like uh, exclusive to, um, what's this word again, Nilfheim only. So you get one foil and one non-foil, so you get two copies of those. Sorry, let me adjust my camera a little bit. Okay, so then we have two copies of Cavalier Nosferatu. So it's a 3-2-3 three, three, three card. So when this creature is summoned, you may choose a creature from your discard pile and return it to your hand. If you do, discard a card from hand. So it's a discard and gain, not that bad. But it, it's quite situational. Though. Next, we have four copies of Crowd Surfer, one foil, the, the other three not. So it's a Fort Burst Summon, very simple. Uh, 2 2 2 card, nothing much to be said. Then we have four, 2 copies of Dead Metal Rotter. So it's a 4 5 4 card, a vanilla, but a very bulky one. Next, we have some 1 mana monsters. We have 4 copies of Carbuncle Imp. So it's a 1 1 1 card with a continuous red Drago Cross. This creature gets a plus 2 plus 1 stat. So it can be a 4 3 card, which is not that bad for 1 cost only. Next, we have 4 copies of Wandering Apper Apparition. Yeah, so it's a 1 1 1 card. When this creature is blocked by a Dragon Shield, it gets plus 2 plus 0 for that turn. So it's a 3 Snapper for the cost of 1 to clear a Dragon Shield, your opponent's Dragon Shield, which is pretty damn good. So you get 4 copies of those. Now, moving on to some spells, we have another ambush on this deck, which is Death Trap. So when this, when this fort is attacked, if this card is an ambush, you may choose an attacking creature and destroy it. Pretty good. Now this is probably one of my absolute favorite cards in this deck, Adraste's Disdain. So, four cost spell card. Choose a Dragon Cross creature and destroy it. And if your black dice is four to six value, then if a creature was destroyed by this effect, you can choose a Dragon Shield and destroy it. So, the fact that this card gives you a plus two from just casting it is really a, like a potential to gain a plus two is really amazing because. First of all, you're getting rid of a monster with Drago Shield on it, uh, like Drago Cross, which is like one less blocker for your opponent or one less attacker. Your opponent has to spend more mana to call another card out. And the fact that you get to bomb another Drago Shield, right, makes Nilfheim super, super rushy. Kind of similar to um, Taurus, which makes this entire trial deck, Shadow Legion, really, really rushy. And of course, you get three of the flags, Nilfheim, Taurus, and Logress. So, uh, sadly, we didn't get the foil promo, but this is Alluring Temptress, which is like the promo of this uh, specific deck. It's a 4-3-3 three, three card with the deadly ability, so that's another deadly card there. And Dragon Cross Red, when this creature destroys a creature in battle, draw a card. So, that is pretty much it for the review of this deck, everybody. And um, I'll be doing the other two deck reviews right after this. So, uh, I will leave a link in the description below for the previous Dragonborn deck review that I did, which is for which is for the demo deck, and what else? All right, uh, Roel's address will be in the description as well. So if you guys want to check them out, you can most certainly do so. 
And if you haven't liked our Facebook page, please move on to our Facebook page and do leave a like. I'll post some stuff over there for all three, all of the card games that we play. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.